welcome to the session on uh, rat pack uh, the idea here is to give a put for thought like uh, we have been building uh, http application by that i mean uh, you know both uh, the traditional web applications plus the uh, rest services what we are using so we have been building these for quite some time but uh, can that be done in a better way can there be a better programming model for that right on jvm i'm sure all of you have uh, you know learned a lot about uh, functional programming and might have got uh, inspired by that but if your uh, day, day job is to develop pretty much on jvm then how some of these uh, good ideas can be brought on to jvm and uh, use them so rat pack is uh, one such effort so uh, you could call it anywhere between a frame a library and a framework it's not uh, so opinionated as uh, many frameworks but uh, uh, it's a good tool for uh, developing uh, uh, lightweight uh, say microservices or uh, gateway to microservices uh, uh, rest uh, you know uh, api for a mobile device or so so that's where uh, rat pack stands uh, rat pack was started about uh, maybe 3 years back as a groovy version of uh, sinatra but later on people found that uh, uh, much more can be done on that right by changing the programming model so as of today uh, rat pack core is uh, totally a java 8 library on top of that you have a small uh, groovy layer which makes it very easy to write a few dsls uh, rather than writing full fledged uh, methods but uh, yeah java 8 does have uh, lambdas which will make the life little bit easier but uh, if i were to uh, do everything in java 8 probably we can look at only few examples so it may take quite a bit time to explain hello world programming stuff so that kind of readability is what uh, groovy dsl will uh, bring in uh, i don't have any more slides so i'll uh, right away get into the code and uh, explain all the concepts or the programming models what i want to highlight uh, using uh, code but uh, before jumping on to that the traditional programming model is the thread per request right so whenever a request come i mean the server would have already created few hundred threads and it is ready to serve the request so whenever a request comes a thread is allocated for that request and throughout the processing of that request the thread is allocated only to that particular request right but serving request involves several ios may be calling uh, reading a file making a database calls or may be calling some uh, web services and getting the response so all this time the thread will get blocked so what this leads to is that uh, non optimum utilization of resource and you uh, if if